Hello everyone, so my name's Alexander. I'm a gardener slash horticulturalist from London. I'm also a vlogger. Oh, well aren't you lovely? Susanna's my fiance, the love of my life. She's an artist and she grew up in Scotland. And this is our little boy, Cedar. Me and my family are making the biggest decision we've ever made. So we're moving to Scotland. Well, not just anywhere in Scotland, the Outer Hebrides. So right about here. We've sold up everything we own in London to set up a farm on the remote island of Uist. This is where we want to build a house. I grew up on Uist, but I never really felt like I belonged. I was just always desperate to leave. Thing is, Susanna now wants to go back to give Cedar a better life. But my mates think I'm crazy. He's a black guy in the middle of one of the most rural places you can be in Scotland. Now that is extreme. Luckily for us, Susanna's parents have been part of the community for 30 years. It doesn't get any better than this. <laughs> we are determined to live the good life. It's incredible. Wow, look at that. This is raw. We'll need to find work. Just don't fall in. And build our dream home. It's amazing to think that that's a whole house. Getting visions of it all going wrong. No, no. It could. Just wobbling a lot. Can we make our big island move work? This is my croft. This is my land. This is our new home, North Uist. There are only four grocery shops, two petrol pumps, no traffic lights and no speed bumps. With just 10 people per square mile, with its clean air and big open spaces, the weight of the big city is slipping away. It took me a long time to come round to the idea of moving here. I was a bit worried about racism. You do get that as kind of countryside kind of towns where everyone's a bit like, have dated views and stuff. If it's all really horrible and they have a really terrible time, then we'll have to figure that out. But the stress of my job in city life had us at breaking point. We wanted better for Cedar. Alex was getting more and more into kind of permaculture and moving away from traditional gardening and like needing more space and talking about wanting animals. And I was just like, well, it's this place that, you know, it's quite normal for people to keep animals and there's lots of space and, and it's part of the local kind of culture to be working with the land. I was sold, mate. And 12 months later, here we are. How do crabs walk? Come on in. OK. We need some music. <laughs> some of our neighbours graze sheep and grow a bit of veg, but I'm going all out. I want to get chickens and geese some sheep, some pigs, some goats. I want to plant trees, a garden, polytunnels, the lot. And of course, build our new house. We've taken on a real challenge, but I like a challenge. 